So I recently got an email from a friend saying that his phone screen had cracked, and unfortunately that means that while he can still see some things and maybe even do some touch input, he's not able to log into his device anymore because it has a fingerprint sensor that's embedded on the front of the display, and he can't enter his PIN code to access the phone anymore either. So he was asking, how, how can you get in and save some of his data before replacing the phone or uh, repairing the screen or whatever? And my recommendation is a USB mouse. So if you have one of these sort of USB uh, dongles, you should be able to attach a full-size USB keyboard, not have to get anything too special. This is something you can pick up for a couple of bucks, hopefully. And then you just plug it in, and you either have a uh, wired USB or a wireless dongle like this. It allows you to access your phone. If you can, from here you can turn on the screen and swipe up to access this and just input your number, hit enter, and that's not my pin, but that would work. Um, or if you can't get the touch screen to work at all, then a um, uh, two-in-one device like this is actually really handy because now I can actually use the touchpad to swipe up to access the pin. It might be a little bit tricky, but swipe up far enough and hopefully you can get that to stay. There we go. And then you can enter your pin. Uh, that's not my pin. I'm going to just pull my phone over here, enter my pin code real quick, and show you that when I hit enter, I am in fact in my phone. And from here, you can uh, try to remote control it if you have a mouse and back up your data to Google Drive, Google Photos, whatever it is that you need to save, maybe transfer some stuff to a PC, or you could use remote desktop software like TeamViewer to remotely log in uh, if it's not already installed. Now you can go to the Google Play Store and install it and so forth. So uh, that is hopefully a way to try to recover some data if you have a broken phone screen and can otherwise not get into your device because the fingerprint sensor, the pin, and so on don't work. Uh, it'd be a little bit trickier if, um, say, instead of have a pin, you have a, a swipe pattern on your phone. But again, if you have a touchpad or a mouse uh, that is a USB uh, connected, then hopefully you can use that to connect uh, as well. So this is, uh, this is for you, my friend who broke your phone screen, or for anybody else who might find this useful.